Hey everyone, Charlie here from the Atomic Age, and today I just want to go in over some latest news in the nuclear industry. The nuclear industry is very dynamic at the moment. A lot of things are moving, a lot of things are changing. It's frankly uh, very exciting to be a part of. Before we get started though, a uh, disclaimer that all views represented here are my own and do not necessarily reflect those of my employer. Alright, so we're starting off here with Centris, which is a big supplier of uranium and nuclear fuel. This piece comes from worldnuclearnews.org. They have completed, uh, as you can see in this image here, a HALU enrichment cascade. All reactors in the United States right now use enriched uranium up to 5% enriched. Uh, for context, bombs use 90% enriched uranium. HALU, otherwise known as high SA, low enriched uranium, is up to 20% enriched. The official threshold for when you've entered into high enriched uranium territory. So part of the new advanced reactor push in the United States uses this HALU uh, because a lot of these advanced reactors are smaller. So all else equal, a smaller reactor needs higher enrichments of fuel to become critical. So one of the, the big uh, hurdles to that is where to get this enriched uranium because the United States has not had an operating enrichment facility for some time now. So until this point, the U.S. has been getting all of its enriched uranium from Russia, pretty much abroad, other places other than the U.S. So the U.S. is now developing domestic enrichment capabilities. And uh, yeah, so this is like a pilot plant that Centris is building uh, for this uranium cascade here. Uh, these are gaseous centrifuges. So you spin uranium hexafluoride and you can separate uh, the part you want, which is the fuel from the part you don't want. As you can see, all these cascades here, they just feed one after the other to each other. Spinning it around, you can enrich your uranium and get get your fuel. So this is really cool to see the fact that the U.S. things are happening. You know, people talk about wanting to advance nuclear. This is these are the signs that things are really happening. People aren't just paying lip service to supporting nuclear. The fact that, you know, centrifuges are starting to get up and running is a uh, really impressive to see and it's uh it's exciting so there's a ways to go before full-scale production but uh you know there they are there's the there's the centrifuge cascade right there congratulations to georgia power plan vogel westinghouse plan vogel has reached first criticality this is uh almost like a week old at this point a little week and a half old news uh this reactor has been under construction for a while now it's had a very trouble development but uh you know things are actually finalizing it reached criticality which means that it has been turned on we'll use a car analogy here it's like it's been started and now it's idling uh so they'll test it out they'll rev it a little bit right now it's scheduled to be hooked up to the grid in may or june which is a uh, very exciting first first new reactor to come online in the united states in 30 years three decades it's been a while so this is this is awesome this is a red letter day but this has been under construction for a while. It takes a little while to build these these kinds of reactors. I do want to do like a video about uh, this reactor at some point, as you may. If you've seen reactor containment buildings before, this one looks a lot different. There's some cool reasons as to why it looks different. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. It's gone critical. It's all mine. Very exciting, very exciting. And you know, I could, I could kick myself. I could have seen this reactor a few months ago. I was in uh, Aiken, South Carolina just across the river in Savannah River from uh, Plant Vogel here in Georgia. It's my fault at the time I didn't realize Plant Vogel was that close to Savannah River. You know, I could have just driven across Savannah River there, taking a look at the site. Would have been cool to see, but oh well, it's critical. That's the important part. It's very exciting. And a final piece of reactor news, Hinkley Point C in the UK, which is a reactor under construction over there. The uh, reactor pressure vessel was delivered to the site. Let's go down some of these pictures. You can see how big this how big this reactor vessel is. And you know, this thing is almost a, a foot thick of solid steel, 30 centimeters, so it's heavy. Cool to see that underway. Cool to see reactor stuff happening, reactor parts being delivered. All right, thank you to my patrons, and thank you to the great reporting at worldnuclearnews.org. Thank you to viewer Ramirez for suggesting this to me. Um, been in the industry. Oh, coming up on nine years now, and when I first came in, it was uh, much more bleak, but prospects are uh, the best I've ever seen right now for a new nuclear future. And I uh, just thought I'd include you guys along the way if you're not aware of some of this news. 
I have to make a, a conscious decision to, to follow this news, you know. Things happen so quickly, it's hard to keep up with all of it sometimes. See you guys next time and have a good day.